Hi, I'm Jenny with the Charleston Reiki and Wellbeing Center. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about past life regression. So for starters, I wanted to clear something up because this is a really common misconception is the difference between past life regression and past life readings. Now there are people that are psychics or claim to be psychics who you can hire to do a past life reading. And that is basically that they read your energy or in whatever sense they tell you about one or more past lives that you've had. So that is simply you're being told. That's it. End of story. You're not having like your own experience. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're simply curious, you absolutely can do that. What I do though is very different. So a past life regression involves actually regressing you back to the past life while you're under a deep state of hypnosis. So we do that either in person or over the phone. And I work with people all over the US and Canada. Um, I can work with people in other countries. It's just um, sometimes a little bit difficult with the time zones, but by all means, if you're outside the US and Canada, um, feel free to contact me and we can see what we can work out. Anyway, um, so with a past life regression, I'm using hypnosis which a lot of people get kind of freaked out by that word, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but I'm using hypnosis to allow you to go back in time and actually remember that previous lifetime. And then while you're going through that, I'm kind of prompting you, asking you questions. So, you know, once we reach that state and I guide you into that state to begin with, and then I might ask you what you see, what you're experiencing, what you feel, um, all those types of questions, and then I narrow it down to more specifics. So somebody might be like, oh, I see a lot of grass. Okay, well, look up, look around you. Do you see anything else? What, what else is around you? You know, that's just a vague kind of idea. Um, but then we go through like different parts of that lifetime. So we might take in as much as we can from that particular scene and try to find out as much about this person, this life as we can. And then I will move you forward to another point in that lifetime when something important is happening, something like, you know, noteworthy about that life. So in that way, we try to get as best of a snapshot of that lifetime as we can. The entire process usually takes about two to three hours um, and then includes um, some chatting beforehand where I get a little bit of background about you in this current life and some information about you, um, what you're looking to achieve, um, some questions that you might have, as well as some information about your family and other people you're close to. And then um, we do the actual hypnosis portion, which I do record. And um, that's another reason why outside of the US or Canada, it might be a little bit difficult. I have a device that connects with my landline phone that I can record calls with. And um, anything outside of those areas costs me money to you know, be able to make that international call. I don't have an international call plan, um, but that's something we can always work out either to not have a recording or you know, if you have a phone card or something and you wanted to pay a little bit additional for um, covering those fees. Um, so that's something we can definitely work out. But this way the individual is actually having an experience. Now, again, you know, not everybody wants that. Um, I have had people that are scared of hypnosis. Um, so I've had people that the first time they come to me, they might wanna know something about a past life, but they're nervous about it. And I explained to people that hypnosis is such a natural thing, okay? Most people don't realize this, but you are hypnotized every single day, at least twice per day. Once when you're about to fall asleep at night, and again, when you're just waking up in the morning. That period of time when you're kind of almost asleep, but almost awake and kind of in between, that's hypnosis, it's that simple. And most of you experience that at other times throughout the day. So if you've ever had a routine where you always drive the same route to work and back every day, you might leave work and start driving and all of a sudden realize you're pulling in your driveway and go, wow, where did those last 10 or 15 minutes go? You know, that kind of thing. If that's ever happened to you, you were under hypnosis. Um, of course, we don't want a deep hypnosis while you're driving. That would be very bad, but a light hypnosis. Anyway, so hypnosis is really just a very relaxed state of mind, um, a very relaxed brainwave pattern, and that's it. It's not anything crazy. Um, nobody can make you do anything that you want to do, you don't want to do. Um, it's just really simple. But, you know, for those people who, let's say maybe you are, you know, in another time zone in another country and our schedules just don't align for whatever reason, that's fine. 
if you know if you're just not able to make the time during the schedules that work for me um, there's other things I can do now I don't do past life readings in the same way that a lot of like psychics do because I don't consider myself a psychic but um, you might be aware that I do channeling and I have a whole video series on that and information on my website as well um, as part of my channeling process one of the things that I can do is to channel your spirit guide and your spirit guide has all the information about you not only in this lifetime but all the other lifetimes you ever lived so I have had people want to kind of start out from that direction and have me channel their spirit guide and ask them questions. That's something that doesn't require scheduling because you give me the questions ahead of time, I do the channeling on my own time, and then I send it to you. So that, you know, can avoid some of those scheduling conflicts. It doesn't allow you to have the direct experience, but at the same time, it might give you some information that you're looking for. It takes less time. You don't get as much detail and as much information. You also aren't having the experience, but if you want to, you know, do something a little bit differently and just have some curiosity and find out some information, that's certainly a way that, you know, we can start out. And I have had some folks have me start out doing that, um, both to answer questions about past lives and other things about their current lifetime. Um, and then sometimes those people will then move on to have a past life regression with me at a later time. So that's definitely an option if that's a route that you're interested in going in. Uh, but just wanted to let you know the difference between those two things. Um, I've had people um, very recently, um, someone named Corey, hi Corey, um, asked me if I, you know, when I'm out and about, if I see somebody and just like automatically see their past lives. And the answer to that is absolutely not. Um, first of all, I would find that to be very intrusive on others. Like I'm not gonna just like invade your thoughts and your, your life. And the only way I would really be able to do that is if I were calling in their spirit guide and doing a whole channeling process. And that's, you know, not something that I'm going to do without someone's permission. And also, I'm not doing that psychic reading type of thing. So the majority of the work that I do regarding past lives is with the hypnosis and with the past life regression. I can also find out, you know, specific answers to questions during a channeling with your spirit guide, but I don't do past life readings. There are people out there that do that. I've personally had them done before. It was interesting information, but at the same time, didn't 100% resonate with me, you know, a little bit, but I was still left with that question of, okay, well, I kind of respect that woman, but do I automatically take her word for it? So then I went from doing that many years ago to having an actual regression done on myself and found that far, far more um, just valuable to me personally, but everybody's different. So you decide what works for you. And I just wanted to kind of clarify that a little bit that I'm not going around like looking at somebody and going, oh, you had a past life as a monk in Tibet. And oh, you, you know, did this and you did that. That's not it at all. I, um, I am, what, what happens when we do a regression is I'm guiding you through the process, but you are the one remembering. It's all on you. I'm just the guide. That's all. All I'm doing is facilitate you having that experiencing. Um, facilitating you having that experience. Anyway, um, I hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions, please let me know. A couple different ways you can do that. One is to just leave a comment down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. I'm also going to put, um, if you um, click the little show more, the little drop down arrow, and click on that, you'll see my website if you want to read a little bit more. Um, definitely um, click on the subscribe button and please like this video. And um, I do have, you know, other videos. I'm going to be making a lot more about past life regression, but there's already a whole series about channeling on there. And there's also a link to my email if you want to email me directly. And you can set up a session or just ask questions or whatever. I'd love to hear from you. So I hope that's helpful and thank you so much for watching and namaste.